Hi there, Dr. Manis here again, and I'm super excited to be talking to you today about how to make correlation tables in APA format. Now, in our studio or our it's super easy to do this with the package APA tables. And so I've already installed this package. Um, make sure you capitalize the T in tables. You install the package as you normally would, and you would uh, have to access that package through this library function. Now, previously in another video, I had shown you how to uh, create a just a simple correlation matrix within the R environment. Well, with apa.core.table within that APA tables package, we can use that same data set that we created up here, and we can actually create a file that has our table already pre-formatted in APA format. So this is the data that we're going to be using, just similar as what we did for the core function within R. And I gave it a file name. This is just example.doc. And you can only use the .doc or .rtf format when doing this. So make sure that you do that. And then finally, I specified my table number. If you don't have a table number that you've identified yet, go ahead and just leave the table number blank. And uh, what happens whenever you leave the table number blank is within the uh, output file, that, that document, the Word document, you just get table XX. And so no worries there. It's not going to ruin anything if you do that. But we're going to go ahead and execute this function. And what that does is it provides us the uh, a really crappy uh, way to look at that in the RStudio environment. However, we can go ahead and just click on the example here and uh, we can open that file. It's really beautiful. So we have our table, it's table one. It provides us our means, our standard deviation and correlations with the confidence intervals. So I have each of my uh, variables, which these are I items in a scale. I have the means for each of these items. I have the standard deviation for each of these items. And I have the uh, correlation for each of these items. And it provides a very nice note here, what M and SD stand for and it talks about what the confidence interval means. So all of this right here is an APA format ready for you to put in your uh, research paper. It's great because you can use this at any time and really makes it uh, accessible for um, you to do APA format in a flash right within your R environment. Now, if you have any more questions about how to create a correlation matrix in APA format, please don't hesitate to reach out to me at kt.manus at ttu.edu. Thanks. Bye-bye.